Okay, another really, really cool feature in BGP is what we call outbound route filtering or just simply ORF. Now, ORF has some requirements around it and it has some things that we have to remember about it, but let's just go ahead and quickly talk about what it is. So imagine here that we have a peering between R1 and R3 and let's just say that R3 is our internet service provider. And R3 is sending us all different kinds of routes. I mean they're really just sending us a boatload of stuff. What do we want to do? Well of course we want to filter right? We want to filter out the routes that we don't need. So what do we do? We, we go ahead and we can either do a disk list, uh, we can do uh, a prefix list on the neighbor, uh, we can use a you know a route map that matches an ACL. We can do essentially a whole bunch of different uh, route filtering mechanisms here on R1. But the point is, is that where are the resources? The resources are going to be spent on our device. Well, service provider devices are usually much more powerful than ours, right? And so what we can do with ORF is we can use a prefix list and we can use the ORF capability and actually send the service provider what we want to filter. And then the service provider is going to go ahead and use the resources, its own resources, to not send us those prefixes. So we're moving, we're minimizing the resources that we're using on our own device and we're moving those resources over here to the service provider. Okay, so it really helps us out a lot and it's very cool because we control the filtering. Okay, in other words, we tell through the use of a prefix list, we tell the service provider what we want to filter and what we want to allow and the service provider is what actually does the filtering for us. So it is very, very cool when you think about it. So. There are some requirements, okay? So number one, this must be a prefix list. So I already kind of alluded to that, so it must be a prefix list. So we can't filter based on, you know, an ACL or, or any other type of filtering. It has to be a prefix list that we configure. So if you're not comfortable with prefix lists, probably something you should mess around with and, and make sure that you're comfortable with if you're going to do this kind of this kind of uh, this kind of feature. Now, one thing that ORF does not support. So let me just say does not support uh, is multicast. So when I say multicast, what I mean is that it does not support multicast addresses or prefixes if we want to filter. So I would not be able to, uh, I would, addresses, I would not be able to go in and say, you know, filter out 224 dot whatever dot whatever dot whatever. It, it doesn't support that, okay? It has to be regular, uh, regular IP packets, okay? Now, this is also going to be a per neighbor configuration. Okay, so per neighbor config, this is not something that I would go in and basically say, okay, this is a global command, filter this out for everybody. It has to be a per neighbor configuration, okay? Last thing uh, is that it's only on external sessions. So only external sessions are we going to configure this on. All right, so if I'm running IBGP, I'm not going to go ahead and do this. I'm only going to do this on external sessions. All right, so that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to use 65, uh, 65,001. We'll use 65,003, and then we'll go ahead and we'll pick a prefix to, to filter out very, very simply. Setting this up is going to be very easy. Let's head over to the CLI. Let's wake up R1, and we'll say config T, router BGP 65,001. Oop, let's say no router BGP 65001 because it's already running. And let's go ahead and turn it back on. It's no router BGP 65000 and whoop, looks like I had the wrong AS here. Let's go ahead and remove this. This is left over from probably another video. Uh, router BGP 65000, let's get it right this time, 65001. BGP router ID 1.1.1 and we'll say neighbor 10.1.3.3 and this is going to be remote autonomous system 65003. Let's go ahead and say redistribute connected. Let's head over to 3. Let's wake them up. Config T router BGP 65003. BGP router ID 3.3.3. Uh, BGP router ID 3.3.3 and we'll go ahead and say uh, neighbor 10.1.3.1 and remote autonomous system 65001 redistribute connected. Now, <clears throat> this may take a little bit of time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head over to here and let's just let's just hit 3, let's say do show IP interface brief e assigned. 
uh, do show IP interface brief e assigned. Uh, let's just pick 3.1. So again, you know, we're going to use this in a prefix list, but uh, you can you can do whatever you want. We're just going to pick on this network here, this this slash 32, just to make our lives uh, a little bit simpler. So let's go. Let's exit out. We're going to say IP prefix. Oh. Hit the caps lock key by mistake. IP prefix, and here where I can give it a name. So what I'm going to do is just call it ORF, right? <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll say permit, and what I'm going to do is just give it that network. So in other words, the only thing I want to allow through is going to be this 192.168.31. I want R3 to, to not send me anything else, all right? So I'm going to say 192.168.3.1, and I'm going to say slash 32. Do shell run section IP prefix just to verify my configuration. So there we have it. That's the only prefix we essentially should allow in, right? Now, when I do this, I need to go in and I need to actually configure the prefix list in the outbound direction. Well, what do I mean by the outbound direction? Well, let's say router BGP 65001. I'm sorry, in the inbound direction. I, I reversed that in my own mind. Sorry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say do show run section router BGP, and I'm going to apply this prefix list to the individual neighbor. That's what I, that's what I meant to say. For some reason, the, uh, the wires got crossed. I'm going to apply this filter in the inbound direction on this neighbor. So, so the first thing I need to do is I need to apply this prefix list on the neighbor as if I was actually going to filter it. So normally, if we were gonna perform the filtering over on R1, this is something that we would normally do. Again, you have to use a prefix list. You can't use a distribute list. You can't use a route map. You can't use anything like that. It has to be a prefix list on a per neighbor, uh, per neighbor, uh, statement, right? So let's say do show run section router BGP. And here we have it. Let's say do show IP BGP. And we are getting these. Let's say do clear IP BGP star soft and say do show IP BGP. And there we go. So now we're only getting this one prefix. But again, we are the ones performing the filtering. So how do I reverse this? How do I tell R3 that I want R3 or essentially my neighbor to perform this filtering. Well, let's go ahead and configure it. Do show run section router BGP. It's very, very easy to configure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to type in my neighbor statement because remember that it's a per neighbor configuration and I'm going to use the capability statement and underneath capability, advertise ORF capability to the peer. So what I'm going to do is say ORF and then I'm going to go ahead and use prefix list. I don't really have a lot of options. And the reason why I'm using the question mark is to show you that if you forget, as long as you can remember capability, you're, you're, you're covered, right? All I'm going to do is say prefix list and I'm going to use, let me actually come back here. Uh, I have three options. Now I'm going to use the send option. Okay. Because that's all I'm doing. But in your case, maybe it's both. Maybe your service provider wants to tell you, or maybe you have another external peer and, and you want to perform this in both directions. That's perfectly fine. You can use both. I'm only going to use send, so that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm going to use. That's all I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and say send. You can see my neighbor adjacency bounces. So let's say do show run section router BGP. So what I'm doing here is I am performing the same filtering that I would normally perform, right? However, now I'm actually saying capability, and I want to send this capability of outbound route filtering prefix list towards my neighbor. Now, I only need to do one thing here on my neighbor statement, and that is to actually tell the neighbor that he's receiving. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say neighbor 10.1.3.1, and what I'm going to do is say capability ORF, and all I'm going to do is say prefix list, and then say receive. Okay, so now at this point, my, my service provider is receiving, I'm sending, let's go ahead and let's actually take a look here. So let's go to R1 and say do show IP BGP, and we are only getting the 3.1. Let's say do clear IP BGP star soft, give it a quick second, do show IP BGP, and what do we have? We don't have it. So how do we know now that R3 is actually performing this filtering? What, what, what can we do to actually show 
that this is actually being performed on R3. Well, let's say show IP BGP neighbors, and you can do all of them if you have multiple neighbors. You know, you can filter this just by the one neighbor. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to say include, and I'm going to say outbound, and hit enter. And you can see here, now, now if, if I just, just to give you guys a, a quick example, if I just did that, I would just have to search down and find, you know, essentially this. But, but I don't want to because I'm lazy. So I go ahead and I filter it down. Right. And so this way I just find the one section that I'm looking for. And look, it tells us that we received one entry. So we are receiving this this entry, this this prefix. Right. We're, or, or in other words, we are receiving these uh, this prefix filter. Now, there's another command we can type. Let's say uh, let's look at that neighbor. And what we're going to do is we are going to use the received and I always get confused, that's why I have to look at it, because sometimes I want to say received routes, but it's not. If I say received, I can, over, I, can, I can hit the question mark here, and then I can say prefix filter, and look at that. It actually gives me the prefix filter that I sent to it, right? So it tells me, look, this prefix filter came in from, from 10.1.3.1, which is R1, and it says, look, this is the actual prefix filter that we were allowed. Let's say show run section prefix. I don't, I don't have anything. Right, I don't, I don't have anything configured on R3. This was actually received from R1. So we know now that R3 is actually the one that's performing this filtering based on the fact that R3 is set to receive, R1 is set to send. We are sending our prefix configuration. Do show run section prefix. We are sending this prefix information from R1 to R3. And again, R3, we're minimizing those resources on R1 and performing that filter on R3. So a very cool feature. Uh, you know, if your service provider, you know, uh, if your service provider supports it and you know the cost isn't too much because you know you always got to go to your boss and, and ask for a PO and budget and you don't want them uh, you know, telling you to get lost. So if they support it, you, it's, it's something that you can definitely run to minimize the resources on your gear. All right. So I hope, uh, hope this was a good video. I'll see you guys in the next one. So long, fellas.